Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video takes us to Santa Ana, California, with a frauder known as Santa Ana Audits. And in this uh, video, this big-time loser of a frauditor happens upon a uh, active crime scene where guns are drawn on a uh, suspect. And this dill hole of a frauditor just doesn't want to cooperate with the police, misquoting uh, Supreme Court rulings and everything like that. But what else is new to try to prove his point? And then he gets himself arrested. Well, if your brain is as dense as lead, you might as well go ahead and complement that piece of metal with uh, a pair of shiny new bracelets anyway, so why not? And so anyway, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. You're not going to be able to cross over. Okay? Hector. Huh? Hector, I'm telling you, we, right now we have officers... Pointing guns in this direction, so you can't you can't walk over there, okay? Oh come on now, officer! Can't you tell this guy is out of breath? Show a little bit of mercy on him. At least give him a little bit of time to rest up before you ask him to walk back across the street, so he can be in a safe, reasonably safe distance from this situation. What's your name and badge number? Smith, three six five eight. Three six five eight yes. Smith. Yes, sir. Do you want to stand by the sidewalk right there? And you can do that and record all you want. It's going to be on it. Hector, not, not on that side. There's Hector, there's guns pointed over on this side, okay? You're not responsible. I'm, te I'm telling you. I'm telling you to go over here, okay? You're not responsible Hector. for my safety. Supreme Court Hector. already ruled. Hector. You sure that's what the Supreme Court ruling said, my stupid little frauditor friend? Because uh, I know which uh, Supreme Court ruling you're talking about, and it doesn't exactly say what you think it says. In fact, I do believe you're thinking of the 2005 Supreme Court case of Castle Rock versus Gonzalez, where Jessica Gonzalez had uh, filed a restraining order against her husband, and the husband ended up kidnapping all three of their children, and later erasing them from existence, before being erased from existence by the responding police department. And she ended up suing the city of Castle Rock because she felt that her rights had been violated over this, and this went all the way to the Supreme Court, where the uh, court ruled the police could not be held responsible for the deaths of the children in this particular case because there was no man mandatory action specified for the procedures in this particular matter because the restraining orders only really specified the arrest of the husband under specific circumstances and it didn't really say that the police had to be guarding the children 24 hours a day. So the police could not be held responsible for the uh, lives of the children, considering that they could not be there 24 hours a day to protect them from the uh, father. And this is the case that you frauditors keep on quoting in a lot of your videos, and it is not what you think it is. You get, if, if you're going to record over here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have you stand over here, okay? You're not responsible Hector, for my safety. Hector, I'm going to tell you one more time. Here. If I have to tell you one more time, you're going to be put in handcuffs. I could record right here if I want. Okay, Hector. All right. I don't okay, have to already, listen already, to you. I already gave you that option. Well, now, you freaking moron, you really should uh, take a closer look at Turner versus Driver. You do have the right to record the police officers in this scenario, but it is subject to reasonable time, place, and manner restrictions set by the officers themselves. And that is exactly what this officer is doing. He's making sure that you are within an area that is not going to be hazardous to you. Because, after all, that is his job. To protect and serve, and he's trying to protect you, you freaking little moron. Well, I'm gonna stay right here. Okay. You so you you are you refusing Look at that. to walk across the street right now? Supreme Court has ruled he's not responsible for my safety. I could walk all I want. Look at this guy. Okay. 
He's saying that uh, the cops are pointing guns at somebody. Look at this guy. He's uh, 415 right now. He's on the instructions. He said I'm 415 right now, not listening to instructions. I'm telling you, once, right now, you're impeding our investigation. I have to have other officers. That's a physical act. There. That's a physical. So, Dude, I don't know where you idiots get this idea that obstruction or impeding an investigation is only a physical act, but you are all wrong on that particular topic. And especially in California, there is a penal code that supports the idea that it is not just a physical act Hector again that's a physical act if those you other, clearly those, have not those, been catching those, up on the first amendment other officers you have not been studying refuse, at all if you refuse to you have not been studying at all the street you have not been Hector right now I'm telling you where you're at you're endangering my safety doesn't seem like and it. your safety your safety okay. why isn't your gun pointed then if you're why so scared well, dude, apparently you haven't taken any management classes at all because you're, uh, well, I wouldn't expect you to take any management classes at all because you're a complete moron. But it's called distribution of resources. you got to distribute people where they're needed. And in this case, they got this officer assigned to the duty of making sure nobody interferes with the scene. And they've got other officers assigned to the duty of taking care of the suspect that is causing the issue. Another word for this is called teamwork. He's watching the backs of the other officers to make sure that idiots like you don't come up and cause an issue with them that might end up leading to some uh, unfortunate issues. But you're just too thick-headed to understand that basic little concept of uh, resource distribution. If you're so scared. Hector. I'm telling you right now, when those other officers get here... See, you're lying. You're, still, you're, you're a liar, right here, dog. You're, you're a liar. Cops. You pulled me over illegally before, too. Okay, Hector. All right? I'm, I'm you're a liar. You right now, this is, your, this is your, your last opportunity. Call a supervisor, a sergeant. I want to speak to your... Dude, uh, I don't think a supervisor is going to be with you on this particular scenario, considering there this is a scenario where guns are drawn on a suspect so it's really one of those situations where uh they have to get people out of the line of fire you freaking moron i mean this could be one of those situations as well if you get hurt and somebody starts asking questions about why not enough was done to keep you out of the situation they could get sued over this especially by you actually call a sergeant the, there's other officers. I don't care. Up. Call a sergeant. Okay. All right. Okay. Call a manager, a sergeant. You guys always make mistakes. Hey, if I can, if I can have you guys go on the other side of the sidewalk right now. You don't have to listen to him. Okay. Hey, I'm sorry. He doesn't have to be set up. Yeah. Okay. See, you know I'm, what's I'm, up. I'm letting. I'm, I'm you know letting what's you up. Know that. Where you guys are at right now, the other officers are pointing their weapons. Sure the, the areas over there, so. no. where, where you're standing right now? Can you record, please? Are, are Can you record, please? Okay. He's going to arrest me right now. Okay. Really? Yeah. Sure. Can you record, please? Okay. Hector, I already, already told you what's, what's going to happen. Thank so you. you I appreciate you. it, man. Yeah. He, he already threatened me that he's going to arrest me. I did, and you're, refuse, you're refusing to walk so you to where him? I told you. It's not a threat. That's a promise. And that's a promise with you as well. I'm letting you know that right now he's he's a he's now, corrupt that there's there's officers he's corrupt weapons in our direction and where you're standing is an unsafe position you're corrupt you Smith you're, you're corrupt so ladies can you do me a favor and stand can across the street on, yes they have some they have somebody at gunpoint right now okay they're trying to work them out of their vehicle so <laughs> right now where you guys are standing at unless you like looking down the barrel of a gun it, this is an unsafe spot they okay. would secure it better than this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, there's there's other officers in route. I'm sorry. Call a sergeant. I said, you can't deny Hector. me. You can't deny me a sergeant either. Okay, Hector. Hey, I already told. I already told you. You can't deny me a sergeant. Hey, let me get your name and badge number, bro. Smith three six five eight. All right, thank you, bro. He, yeah, you're welcome. He's pulled me over illegally before too. 
Bro, I get harassed all the time. Okay, Hector, so at this point, are you are you refusing to to stand over to where I told you? Hey, I'm Santa Ana Artist, by the way. Yeah, I got you on YouTube right there. Yeah. I requested a sergeant too, all right? Okay, Hector. Well, you've gone and done it now. The officer is gloving up. He's getting ready to put you in cuffs. Look at this guy. Hey, Troy. Hey, we're gonna go. We're gonna go 10:15 with uh, with Hector okay. here. Yeah. Thank you. Officer Choi and Officer Smith. Officer Choi, 3631, you're impeding one of the officers from conducting a traffic patrol, okay? How far away is the traffic stop? Right now, okay. he's preoccupied with you. That's a Hey, Choi, you said you were a cool guy. I am. You said you were a cool Hector, guy, Choi. You know, all the other, uh, so Hector, the other officers? You, you said you were a cool guy. I am. You want to hear me out one time? What's your badge number again? 3631. 3631? Three, 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 okay. All right, Hector. Hey, man. Why would you not listen, Hector? Come on, man. Look, how many times have we been through this with you? Reasonable distance, right? Hey, for you two, could you guys do me a favor? Nah. Let's just come to an agreement. These with guys the are liability to, to the city. To watch traffic. Yeah. These guys are corrupt. No, dude, they're not corrupt. You're just a freaking moron. And I proved that over and over again throughout this video, such as you could not even name the Supreme Court ruling that you thought you knew, i.e. Castle Rock versus Gonzalez. And you can't even understand the basics of resource distribution within scenarios like this. Some people have to guard, other people have to do the job. So all in all, you seem like a very poorly educated individual to begin with. Which just makes me wonder, how far did you make it before you dropped out of school? At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.